Yo, YouTube, what's up with y'all? It's your boy Jay from Mind 2 Creative. And I'm back at it with another episode of WWE 2K24. How y'all doing today? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys haven't already, if you guys like, comment, subscribe, join the Creative Nation. You are on the road to 500 subs, you feel me? How are you feeling? I don't want you to get too down on yourself. Sometimes people just don't click. What are you talking about? I mean, let's be honest. You haven't gotten as over with the fans as we'd like you to be. You must have been feeling the disconnect. I wasn't feeling it, but I am now. Don't worry about it, though. Some people have long, fulfilling, mid-card careers. And we probably won't release you. But if you ever want to be considered in the title picture, I'm going to need you to really dig into the team's ideas. Troy, the ideas you've brought me are dumb. They're clearly not helping me connect with the fans. They're not dumb. You just haven't committed enough. I want to see you try to try harder. Try to try harder? That's your advice? Are you serious? That, and to wear the new gear I had designed for you. Trust me, a new look will change everything. Troy, I told you when you pitched it to me before, I'm not wearing that gear. Uh, what's the problem? They used to call you the captain in TBD, right? I've heard that name around here too. And Regal won't be happy if you don't wear the gear. You're telling me Regal wants me to wear that? Sure! Troy? Well, he may not know the details, but he wants me to help you. So, like it or not, I've been deputized. When you're ready to enthusiastically try this, I've got a match for you against Shayna Baszler. Fine. I don't like it. In fact, I very enthusiastically don't like it. <sighs> but I'll do it. Please let the record reflect my enthusiasm. Glad to hear it, Captain. Trust me, fans are gonna eat this up. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's going to be a five minute time limit match. Just a little cramped for time tonight. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> You're kidding me. I am not. Have fun out there. It'll be interesting to see how Cap will perform with her new, well, let's just call it attitude. The captain better keep her sails tight and bearing dead ahead, or else she'll run into the iceberg that is Shayna Baszler. Well, new costume or not, I think Cap will bring the same level of intensity we've come to expect from her. Boom! Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Bang! Oh, and a stop. Just despicable menacing. Stop after stop after stop. Stabber. Ouch. Baszler being dismantled. Baszler's toughness needs to kick in here. And right there, Shayna being shown that her competition is in lacking a fighter's mentality themselves. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Going to be about two inches shorter after that. Oof. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Look at this, deadlifting their opponent into a, a gun wreck suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another a second gut red suplex. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Oh, they clutch their opponent's wrist, and look at this. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh my God, what a move! Launching, five-star frog splat! And that one, Mr. 
misses the mark. Forearm oh. smash! Yeah. Lethal combination. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Ooh. Big running leg drop. Nasty kick to the face. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Uh, check his power out. Alabama slam. Not done yet. Slips out of the camel clutch from behind and a nice takedown. And she had Baszler scouted. She saw it coming. Should I ask? Do you have to? Should I call you Skipper? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I can't with you. <laughs> I said sorry, but you totally can with me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here to drown your sorrows in the small pond that is TBD. <sighs> is it that Troy guy again? Yep. And. I can't even get a word in with Regal to talk about my concerns. I get he's busy, but come on. Huh. It's not like you to have trouble getting people to pay attention to you. What's the issue? There's just so many rules and people to navigate. I'm getting advice from every direction, and I can't make it make sense. So you came home to complain at me? It is kind of our thing. True story. At least whenever there used to be issues on the road or here in TBD, we'd put our heads together and figure it out. I can stand on my own, but it's a lot more fun to tread through the muck with you. Well, are you having any at least? Any what? Fun? A lot of the time, yeah, I still love wrestling and putting my all into matches, but the backstage politics feel like a chore sometimes. You're the one who told me to take advantage of this opportunity. I told you to say yes to the adventure, not to overthink it. Honestly, I think you're holding back a little. Remember your debut? You didn't care about what anyone thought. You just went out there, and the WWE Universe loved every unfiltered second of it. You have great instincts, but you're trying too hard to toe the line. It's throwing you off. So you think I need to try to try less hard? You know what they say about trying to please everyone. Everyone will love me, and I'll be wildly successful? All I'm saying... The captain I know would trust her instincts and speak up if something didn't feel right for her, regardless of the consequences. He certainly would have with me. 
Whether it was in the ring or on a boat. Geneva, I'm leaving. Fine, fine. I'll leave you be. Hit me up if you need anything. I think I got what I needed. I'll give doing what they want another chance, but I'll make sure to say my piece too. Thank you. The captain has not been lighting the world on fire as of late. Maybe if she can fish out a victory from Natalia, it could really turn her ship around. Cap has serious potential. I don't think she deserves all of these nautical jokes. I actually agree with you, Saxton. In fact, Natalia better get her bulkhead on straight, or this super starboard will have her tied up in knots and capsized in no time. Oh, why do I even try? Kick to the lower back. Oh, solid kick across the back. Big boot connects, crash landing on the outside. And out at ringside is not the place you want to be grounded. Uh oh. Steer clear of that. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Toss back into the ring. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Oh my God, what a move. And she dodged that one nicely. Running super kick. Someone just lost the tooth. Set time! Running leg drop! Playing possum! Whoa! Playing possum! And she gets a quick kick out. Too early in the match to end it. Super kick! Top rope, here we go! Incoming! She just clocked her. And Natalia dodges there. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. Oh, goodness, that looked bad. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you can suplex that much weight. An agile escape. Oh, 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 oh. foot meet face. Oof, kick finds it. Oh, check this power out. Boom! Bang! Face first. And now, the accolade. Some slips out of the camel clutch from behind in a nice takedown. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Uh-oh. Look at this. Look at that uh, torque on the leg. Oh, and a leg breaker. Smart strategy, attack the knee. That offense taking a toll on her. Veteran confidence and mind games on display from Natalia. Out of nowhere. Okay. And that can vanquish Natalia. And that's it. The captain has sunk the boat's battleship with some. Oh, not again. Is this really how you see me? You know what? I've done everything they've asked of me. I've done everything you all have asked of me. Wearing dumb gear, playing nice with appearances, taking bad advice from WWE veterans. 
<laughs> and you know what I've realized? <sighs> no one knows my potential better than me. I am not just a spoke on this wheel. <sighs> and I am not gonna wait until I'm at rock bottom to take control of my future. <sighs> this is my story. <sighs> and I'm taking it back. Are we still on? What do you think you're doing? If you think you can just do whatever you want without any consequences... I... <laughs> that felt really good! It was certainly unexpected. I don't recall a promo being planned for this evening. I already told her. Shut up, Troy. I don't recall a promo being planned. Haven't seen that sort of fire from you since your debut. I'm not apologizing for what I said. I don't recall anyone asking you to. But if you have more comfortable places to be than WWE, I'd be happy to release you from your contract. That's how it's gonna be. Yes, there have to be consequences for- Shut, Shut up, up Troy. Troy. But I have to ask, why did you sign with WWE in the first place? Sir? Did you sign here to be comfortable? I didn't sign here to dog and pony show dumb creative decisions or feel like I should be thankful for every scrap. You're a talented wrestler. But you can do that anywhere. If you came to WWE to be a superstar, to do what you can only do somewhere with the reach of WWE. To not just do the work, but to live the fantasy. I'm going to give you the greatest gift I can offer. <laughs> Best of luck in her future endeavors. Shut, Shut up, Troy. Troy. Freedom. Get uncomfortable. Take big swings. Not just in the ring, but out of it. You want to be a WWE superstar? I think you might just have it inside you. Just promise me three things, and I'll have your back every step of the way. What's that? Put your whole heart into it. And don't be afraid to fail. It'll hold you back if you only attempt what you know you can do. Do those things, and I'll make sure your spot here is safe. Whatever happens. So, what do you think? I'm intrigued. And I'm in. Brilliant. But that was only two things. What's the third? Oh, right you are. Promise me you'll never wear that ridiculous outfit. That I never approved ever again. That won't be a problem. You've got yourself a deal. What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. 
It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. Interesting. Thanks for the explanation. That's that? Wow. Glad I wasted my time talking to you. Fascinating. Looking to get a bit of training in before the show tonight? I actually wanted to ask you about some of your experiences in WWE. You've seen a lot in your time here, huh? I am a five-time women's champion. I was actually wondering about some of the stranger things you've encountered. The weird, the otherworldly, the supernatural. Are you sure you want to be asking me about all that? Regal said I should explore everything in WWE. Why not? Of all the ways to become powerful in WWE, the kind of power you're talking about comes with a cost. Maybe it's a cost I'm willing to pay. Some of my favorite superstars in WWE have flirted with or embraced the supernatural. The Undertaker, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt, you. You have no idea what you're doing. You see some of what I'm talking about on TV, sure, but you don't understand how it works. There's a force in WWE, and it's looking all the time for anyone who's open to receiving its gift. Right. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll back off then, at least for now. Good choice. You're certainly making waves around here. You've made some waves yourself, in WWE and outside too. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. That sounds overwhelming, to have to juggle everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're interested in expanding your reach into Hollywood, would you want to do the web series? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the right move. Let me think on it. But it's a pass for the moment. No worries. If you change your mind, let me know. You'd be doing me a favor if I could suggest another superstar to take my place. Hey, any chance you Actually, my schedule cleared up. I'd love to. What's the show exactly? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Weird, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. So a special thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint.
can get it. The captain's been all over the internet because of a cheese-smelling show? You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show, and Cap was great on it. Her observations about who wear pairings were actually quite astute. Oh, this is cheesy, even for you two. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Oh. Boom, timely counter by Lee. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Whoa. Ooh that is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And now she's getting back into the ring. I think I know what's next. Your favorite, Saxton. Yokosuka Cutter. Samoan driver. The fatigue is setting in for her. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. And she had Zaya's number there. Up high. Oh. from the top. Look at her, taking in all the energy from the crowd. Saw that one coming. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. Boom, face first. Discus clothesline. She adjusts it and reverses it. She was clearly waiting for that. Clothesline! Off with their head. And that failed to hit the mark. Shutting that down with the back elbow. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. Hair pull neck slam! Sight set on the top rope. Oh, strong impact! Uh-oh, it's gonna, we're gonna see it! Stop! She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Senton! Zaya gets out of the way. Incredible roundhouse kick. Ouch. This is gonna be nasty kick right to the gut. And another. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Arm drag toss. Great counter. Spear, spear. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. Look at this. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. And this match will head back to the ring. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Here we go! Yokosuka Cutter! She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. No way. Oh, no! Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. And 
back into the ring she goes. Taking a moment to get pumped up. But this crowd's incredible energy. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. And guys, she's dangerously close to a count-out loss. Rep race count stop. She stays in this. Just barely, Cole. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. Well, if it isn't the internet darling, the captain. Not just the internet. I feel like everyone is talking about her these days. She's got some serious buzz. But all the extra attention means more scrutiny. She's going to want to get a big win tonight. I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Knee straight to the gut stays off the attack. That's going to hurt. Slows that down with a well-placed kick. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Sorry, European uppercut. Savage knee to the face. Ooh, she just turned it around. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull mat slam. And finds a counter. Oh, heel kick. Right on. Point. That physical nature of Jane's being met head on. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. And Jane reverses it. And another counter. Oh, what an elbow high in the chin. From the top. She steers clear of that one. Ooh, Ooh what a four on club. She's taking things to ringside. German suplex. A oh, mat slam with some attitude. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Uh oh, arms are trapped. No way to protect themselves. Look at all these oh my God. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Uh-oh. Samoa drop! Returning to the ring now. And Jane... Oof. She is not amused in the slightest. Jane out of there in a hurry. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Oh, lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table, none of these things are fun to collide with. Popped right in the face. Oh, man.
Uh oh. It's going to. We're going to see it. Right to the back of the neck. Lands in the drop zone. Boom. A leg drop. Kane has no control here. Yeah, JC's being completely neutralized. Kick to the lower gut. Oh, this is not going to end well at all. Neck time. Face first. Drop in the leg. Oh, ouch. Oh, kick connects. I think I know what's next. Your favorite, Saxon. Yoka Suka Cutter. The end is looming now. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. And now she's setting the pace of this match. Yeah, and she is taking all the restraints off. Uh-oh. Simone drop. Wow, that is some impressive strength. Dominator. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. As the hook looking for sliced bread, but a counter power slam. JC isn't taking this line down anymore. Jane was being tested and was finally able to get some offense of her own in. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. No stutter! It's over! And JC is taking on a lot of offense now. Jane is really having trouble with her defense. Jane out for good. Two count. No, my, that was close. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope your next big move is the last one. The springboard attack fails to land. Slips out of the way. Batten down the hatches. These two are loading. Oh. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. She scores big with the counter. Oh, the From out of nowhere. Will that be it? Will that be enough? J.C. Jane enraged by this loss. J.C. Jane got cocky and a... I know you're just here to train, but I gotta ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match? Seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese-smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? Hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit, or are we talking cheap-looking suits and rental cars? I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Oh, you're killing me here. And definitely getting catfished. Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. But so far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. 
when whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his aunt can get surgery. Come on. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I heard you. He's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. The cat needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Reversal after reversal, these two are ready for each other. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Oh. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power, oh no. From behind, chop block. Stabber. Stone Cold Stutter! It's over! Oh, what a kick! Ooh. What an incredible moonsault! Across the chest, over and over again, like a machine gun. On that exchange, it looks like Keegan lost some focus. Uh-oh. Flashback! Maybe not, maybe not! And she breaks free before a one count. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. DDT spiked. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Stone Cold Stunner! It's over! Oh, man! She's fighting back! for their troubles. These two having an answer for everything. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Monster set up in the... Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox, Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes, she's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't just interrupt the match. Where's security? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tegan Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. Whoever that man was, he certainly didn't do Cap any favors here tonight. We got to get better security. What the hell was that? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper. You're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Oh, I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? Look, I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity. Although... I may have misspoken a bit. Why am I not surprised? 
I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know. Uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? A chance to do a big budget film with John Cena? <laughs> can't say no to that. Ah, then I won't either. I'll let the casting director know. I'll talk to your people around here too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. Gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. It's what allows me to be sneaky, like a ninja. Coming back from break, first team to the set. Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Cena money goes a long way. I'm hardly there yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, but there's been a lot of confidence in Mudslide too, based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. A-list buzz. Very well. It's the captain of the silver screen. From Paris, France, Ms. Michelle! I gotta hand it to the cat. That was quite the arrival, and she looks like a million bucks. Hollywood suits her. Then maybe she ought to take the first bus back.
There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now, Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. Ouch. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Quick exchange of counters there. German suplex. Improving a bit slippery for them there. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. And superstar trying to maneuver their opponent in this position. Superstar's gonna be about two inches shorter after that. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Zenton hits the target! She's beginning to flag a little. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Stark with some agility. Oh, there it is! Spear! Stark can't stop this string of offense. Yeah, I know. Stark's got to turn the momentum around. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Senton. No way! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. STO! Turn to the ring. And now she's looking to go top rope. Watch out. Diving forearm smash. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. And Zoe is revving this crowd up. that smug look right off her face. Oh. We are witnessing the beginning of the end. Boom! The demons are being summoned. Lands a kick to the gut. What a counter. Uh-oh. Some serious endurance, I'll give you that. Confidence must be waning as she hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. Big form. No! Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, oh. man. Oh, she got out of there. And huge burning lariat. Spring bullet! Oh, straight to the floor! That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Look at this! He fades their offense. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Boom! Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And she saw that coming from Zoe. Start.
taste defeat. This has to be a difficult loss, but ultimately Zoe Stark was shut down. It's not something. Good evening, and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me. <laughs> Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite John Cena in the blockbuster Mudslide 2, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh yeah! Hey, we done officially went Hollywood, you feel me? We got the movie with John Cena, feel me, the GOAT, the one and only. But yeah, you know what? I'm actually about to wrap this video up here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, join the Creative Nation. Yeah, stay tuned for more WWE 2K24, more game content. Yo, let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel too, you know? This is as much as your channel as it is my channel, you feel me? We all a family. We, I just want to help us grow, you feel me? And hey, I'm gonna need y'all to do y'all part too, you feel me? You eat, I eat. Yo, but until the next time, you guys take care.